This is Lu <laughs> this is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined with Frank Warren here at the Magnificent Seven press site. Rolls again. Um, yeah, three times this year, and um, this time it's finally come down to London. Must be a buzzing, you know. Good, uh, a good press conference there. Good press conference. You know why? Because they're good fights. Absolutely good fights, and obviously uh, pick of the bunch. Brad Pauls takes on Denzel Bentley. Denzel Bentley looking to become a three-time British champion. Last person to do that was Harold Graham uh, in 1988. So a little stat for yourself there. Um, Solomon Dakers against David Adley. So uh, yeah, I guess for yourself, um, you know, it's easy to say what's the best fight on the card, but you know, for yourself, there's a lot, a lot of really good fights there. Well, the main event's a great fight, and as you add his spice there, it's now going to be, I believe, the uh, EBU will sanction it for the European title, and more, even more important than that, is the winner of this fight, I will guarantee a world title fight. I guess a fight I guess I did want to touch on more in depth. Obviously Solomon Dakers and David Adelaide. Um, they've gone back and forth. I thought it was about to go off there. I think David was... They have. It's been postponed a couple of times and I know they've been bouncing off each other over the social media and so forth. But it's a cracker of a fight. And again the winner next year puts himself into some good fights. They can't afford to lose. I mean every one of these fights have got something leads to something much bigger for all of them, all competitive fights. Just touch on the main event there, I know both of them are quite ranked, highly ranked in WBA, I think Bentley's second and, uh, and number two and, and Brad Paul's being number four, right? I um, mean, you mentioned there about potential world title shot, um, as you say, like, you personally view this as an eliminator for a world title for Janabek who owes the WBO? Absolutely, absolutely. I guess that does bring me on to another middleweight you've got, obviously Hamza Shiraz. Um, Bentley, him himself, I know Bentley's got to go through bad pulls, but I know him and him and Ham's always sort of been linked together. Would you ever sort of view making that fight? Do you think that's possible? Or would you rather view, you know, they're on their own path, they can meet when they potentially both have world titles? Hamza, I, I believe, will fight for a world title uh, in his next fight, I hope. And he comes through that. The winner of Brad and uh, the winner of uh, Brad and Denzel. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? When it comes to Hamas Heroes, I know there's three, there is three champions there with obviously Yanabek, um, Arisandi Lara and Carlos Adames and his name, especially for the February 22nd day, it's always been linked with a, with, a, with a few, with obviously all the three champions. I know there was a, a, a rumour that came out on Twitter yesterday about Arisandi Lara potentially being there and I've seen Adames and Yanabek as well, I think the first bits of that are, are coming up. So when it comes to world title opportunities, is there anything I guess you can give, whether it be the Lara rumours or Yanabek, I know he's mandatory for that, so like, what, what is really the situation? He's going to fight for the world title. So no, nothing on, on the opponent. I mean, he's got options, and we'll and we'll we'll get it over the line. That's what we we intend to do. I do want to quickly move on, Frank. And um, I listened to you obviously on Talk Sport this morning with um, Simon Jordan. And um, yeah, when I mean overly friendly, but um, yeah, it was a bit of a back and forth, I guess, when it comes to the accusations that he was making uh, towards yourself. And, and I guess you obviously had the response to that, where he was sort of saying that you were sort of changing your mind when it comes to the relationship with you and her on the Conor Ben situation. Changed my mind at all. He, he talks so, so much crap sometimes. I don't, do you know? Do you know what the finding was and the reason for their finding? That hasn't been released yet, and it's up to Conor Ben to make a comment. As I said, how can I comment on something which I don't know what they're saying? I may agree with it, I may not agree with it. He may, he may at that hearing have said, prove that he was innocent. Until we see it, I can't comment on it. And he's trying to be a smart ass. That's all he's trying to be. I was going to say, like, when it comes to that situation, what is the stance on it? Obviously, there is at the moment we know that he's clear, but obviously. Um, Apparently, I was, and again, I was only just told, I don't know if it's the case, that UK have the right to appeal, and they've asked for the right to appeal. That's what I was told, I don't know if it's true or not. And until you can see the official statements and the, and the findings, no one can comment. It's all very well sitting on there saying, oh, this is how it... And, and he can't comment on it. Who is he? doesn't know the background to it, nor do I. All I know, there was two failed tests, and at that time, there was no hearings, yeah? And I said that was wrong. And I still feel that was wrong. But it's been a hearing now. Okay, from, from Simon saying that, like, is it frustrating to hear, to sort of, I guess, him make those accusations? He does. He's trying to be a smart ass. He, he should worry more about what his mate Benji does. That's what he should do. 
Uh, just a last couple from myself. Um, I did, Eddie Hearn done a few Instagram questions yesterday, and one of the questions was, do you see yourself making fights where, with Frank outside of real season? He said yes. Um, yeah, is that something you'd be on board on, making fights with Hearn outside of the, the real season banner? As you say, you are both on the, on the same broadcast. On Saturday night. Say again, sorry? Latin love yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. But I, mean, I guess may, he, maybe he means big. loads of fights outside the season. There's lots of them. And of course, they're now on the same broadcaster as, as of... Um, April, we'll, we'll be with the same broadcast, that's a no-brainer. I'm I'm re we're really looking forward to working, we've got a good working relationship and delivered some really good fights. Frank, always a pleasure, appreciate your time. Thank you, cheers mate, thank you.